Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. Today's video, I came up with the idea of this. I was going to do another uh, collection video, but I was just looking at what I had and I just didn't think it, I had enough to, to make a video. So um, I got one thing and it just made me think maybe I'll just do a video about um, Concept of Mars. So I'll be talking about concept albums about Mars. I'll be talking about songs and interconnected things that just came to mind. Uh, so what got me thinking about this was I received this the other day. Uh, this is Sammy Hagar's album, his 1997 album, I think it's 10th solo album, and his first since he, he left um, Van Halen. It's called Marching to Mars, and it just gave me a bit of an idea and made me think about the, this topic. So it's just a fun video today. So um, this, this album, uh, there he is there, he's got some sort of jumpsuit on. Um, there's Mars there, so I don't know, he's le leaping around in space or something, and the album's called Marching to Mars, and there's also a song called Marching to Mars, not a bad song, um, pretty catchy, uh, I think one of the singles was Little White Lie on this, but yeah, not a bad album. Um, also, uh, another song to do with Topic Mars uh, is Creator. Creator also did a short instrumental on um, the album Phantom Antichrist, and uh, it was called Mars Mantra. So that was just like an interlude before they get, get into the heavy riffs and the, the rest of the metal on that one. Uh, just sets the tone for the album. Um, in Roman mythology, uh, Mars was considered the god of war. So a lot of people, when they do their music, uh, it's not just the planet, it's all about, you know, war and things like that. Uh, also, another band that comes to mind is Electric Wizard. They did two, not one, but um, two songs. Uh, one's called Mountains of Mars. Uh, which was an instrumental, and the one I like better is Priestess of Mars, um, sort of more doomy, and uh, it's actually got vocals. The the other one didn't have um, vocals. That's another Mars song. Uh, and then another one that comes to mind is Alice Cooper. Uh, this is his 1991 album. Um, hey Stupid, um, and the song is on here, uh, Might As Well Be On Mars, so there it is there, Might As Well Be On Mars, I really like this album, so he's, after the, his last album before this, Trash, uh, he wanted to just keep things going because that was a very successful album. He brought in um, Desmond Child, brought in a, a lot of really top talent uh, for this album. And Desmond Child helped to write that seven plus minutes power ballad, uh, Might As Well Be On Mars. So this is his 12th uh, album. And like I was saying, he got a lot of great talent uh, for this album, um, including like Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, Slash on guitar on some of the songs. So yeah, cool album that one. So um, yeah, concept albums. Uh, it's a relatively um, popular topic, uh, Mars on concept albums, um, yeah, and prog. Um, about uh, planet Mars, it's different life forms and, and what have you, what have you. Um, so the musician and record producer Jeff Wayne in 1978, he did a double album called War of the Worlds. 
So it is a musical version of the H.G. Wells book about the inhabitants of Mars invading Earth. So this is done in sort of like a rock opera style with um, rock stars. And there we go. Just gonna show you that quickly. Yeah, the rock stars. There you go. You got um, Phil Linnet on it there. Uh, this is the 5.1 version. It's got lots of very good sound, excellent sound on this. David Essex. Bit hard to keep it open though to show you. Uh, Justin Hayward from um, the Moody Blues. There he is there. David Essex. And um, Richard Burton, the actor, does a lot of the narration on this. So, yep, yeah, you got Phil in it from Thin Lizzy, Justin Hayward from the Moody Blues. And uh, Richard Burton tells the story of the whole thing. So, this album about Earth's fight against the Martians, is, is, this is sold like, I don't know, 50. Uh, estimated, just estimated, 15 million copies. So they released two singles from this, um, Forever Autumn. I think Justin Hayward's on, on the um, vocals for that. That sounds fantastic. And Eva the War. So when you when you play this, there's like massive orchestration, um, just really good vocals, and it all comes together nicely. That so that's um, Jeff and Wayne's musical version of War of the Worlds, and this is one of the few albums that my father played when I was young in the house, and then. Uh, of course, I, I've played it um, quite a few times. Uh, I, I picked up this on this 5.1 version. It sounds fantastic. And um, my son also plays it. So it's something that can like transcend generations. Uh, really good um, concept album, that one. What about Mars? Okay, next one, uh, another concept album is Styx The Mission. So this is the band Styx uh, 16th album and this came out in 2017 and it's very much a um, tells a story about a mission to the planet Mars in 2033. So I don't know if, if that comes across very well. It's, it's a bit um, blown out that picture there. There's another one on the back. And you go, instead of the NASA logo, you've got the sticks there. Uh, Might be a bit blurry, that one. So what I like to do is a bit different is before I really get into that album, I like to play something a bit heavier to get me in the mood. And it's from this album here. Of course, this is um, Megadeth, The Sick, The Dying and The Dead. And they have a track on here called um, Mission to Mars. So if you want a perfect uh, Mars topic album, I would suggest that you play from here, um, Mega Dave's Mission to Mars from the, this album, and then um, play the rest of the mission there. And um, you've got the, the Perfect Mars album. 
Uh, there's also a song in here that I, I would have loved Dave Dave to do some of the some of the the vocals on some of these uh, called Radio Silence. Um, so it, it's all about like the hardship of uh, a Mars mission, um, the Martian storms, and exploration on here. But then yeah, if, if you've got Dave and Dave on his one. He said, he says, I want to be an astronaut, Mega Dave. So, yeah. So, yeah, I like to put the two together. Right. Um, so, lastly, I'd just like to talk about um, Mars mentions and related things to do with, of course, the whole topic. Uh, so, you got the... Um, Wings album here, uh, Venus and Mars. So there's a, that's the name of the album there. Um, I just bought this in a sort of charity shop or, yeah. And with the original, it's got like a sort of planetary thing along there. It's stuck to it, I can't get it off. Uh, this, is, this is Wings, Venus and Mars. Yeah. There. Great sounding album. Uh, Venus and Mars. And another, uh, probably one of my favourite live albums of all time. Well, it is. One of my favourite albums of, of all time live albums is um, Ben Harper, uh, Live from Mars. Um, I was introduced to this by a young fellow when I was staying in Sydney. Um, Josh, uh, he's an interesting guy. He'd actually been in a, in a big accident. He, he was hit, hit by a train and uh, he had quite a few injuries from, from that. But um, got to know the father, awesome father. And he was going to a Ben Harper concert. And he gave me a lot of Ben Harper's music to listen to. Uh, so uh, that's, how, that's how I got into um, Ben Harper and really like... Um, uh, ben Harper. So this is his live album, Live from Mars. Go and sort of he does one disc on here is sort of acoustic, uh, where he just sits with his guitar in his lap, and, and the other is more band orientated. But a yeah, really good album. Check that one out. Uh, another band I can think of to do with that, uh, just the name, is the Hoodoo Gurus, Australian band, and they put out an album called Mars Needs Guitars. And uh, so now we get it. I can also think of some obvious choices. Uh, of course, um, David Bowie. Uh, he did the song Life on Mars. I know it's not on this album. It's on the, the Hunky Dory album. But I don't know. I don't have that. Um, so here he is sort of like uh, Star Child. Oh, not Star Child. Is that Kiss? Yeah, Star Child is Kiss. Star Man is there. Oh. And he did, um, of course, famously Life on Mars. Another group that did a Mars song is Aqua. They did Back From Mars. And Rob Zombie did Mars Needs Woman. I suppose they do. And also, um, if you're going to go into this sort of area, um, Mick Mars has just put out a new album. <laughs> so I'm really pushing it here. And it's called Another Side of Mars. <laughs> I will listen to that. Just, just, just have a listen. And, of course, Bruno Mars, another one, and um, Mars Volta, really good band, like Mars Volta. Uh, 30, 30 Second to Mars, another group, and I've got the single from back in the day, Pump Up the Jam from Mars, that's sort of a dancey music one from what I can remember. So uh, that's pro that's it. Um, 
if anyone can come up with any more Mars craziness in the comments, yeah, just, just go ahead. Uh, it's just a fun video today that uh, I came up with. Um, just an excuse to so to show some albums that uh, I haven't shown before from from my collection. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and um, like. So I will leave you now, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Okay, bye.